Hello, this is Nils. In this video, I'll be looking at the possible anti-aging benefits of carnosine. Nothing in this video is intended as or should be taken as medical advice. Carnosine has many well-established benefits in addition to its effects on muscle synthesis. According to a 2021 study, carnosine increases skeletal muscle growth, alleviates diabetic neuropathy, improves the effectiveness of exercise and the stimulation and contraction of muscles, and as a side note, has been found to slow down aging. It does not make us younger. I'm taking it and I'm still 71, but it appears to slow the rate of aging moving forward. In in vitro studies, it's been found to slow the aging of human cells and protect against processes that speed up aging, including glycation and mitochondrial dysfunction. Carnosine does not directly increase the size of our muscles, but it does help muscles function properly and delay or prevent fatigue, which can lead to greater gains for athletes and better workouts. It's been found to improve global cognitive function in seniors, in particular our verbal memory. I had been taking beta alanine, a precursor of carnosine, prior to my workouts for over a year, but I didn't really notice a lot of benefit. I decided to try adding carnosine and cutting back on beta alanine a bit after watching several videos, including one in which Greg Fahey, the very young looking man behind the Trim and Trimax trials, mentioned the results that he had gotten from taking it. So which form of carnosine is better? The consensus among a lot of YouTube bloggers appears to be that beta alanine is better than carnosine because it's a precursor and is supposedly better absorbed. But speaking anecdotally, speaking just for myself, the combination of carnosine and beta alanine is working better than beta alanine alone. I'm currently taking carnosine along with beta alanine in a one-to-one -one ratio. There's an old saying that goes back at least as far as a Marx Brothers movie that goes, who are you going to believe, me or your own eyes? For now, I've set aside the common wisdom of the internet and I'm taking both carnosine and beta alanine daily. Since adding the carnosine to my stack, I've noticed some improvement in my alertness and my overall energy levels and slightly better workouts. It's like I might be able to do another set or a few more reps of an exercise. In a recent video, Dr. Fahey stated that he is able to do more push-ups since taking carnosine, and that it actually appears to benefit his stem cells. He also said that he began taking it because it reverses cellular senescence, restoring senescent cells to a healthier and more youthful state. Here's a little song summing up some of the possible health benefits of carnosine. I wrote the lyrics, then I used software to turn it into a song. I took some beta alanine. It worked but wasn't all that great. Next day I tried some carnosine. Know what? I liked it better, mate. Well, boost your memory and your brains. Well, bolstering your muscle gains. I got a charge from carnosine. I didn't get from alanine. Could carnosine work all along? Build up your muscle and your bones Greg Faye says it works for him And he's the guy who trialed the trim So I tried both, I kill a combo I felt like I could dance the mambo With all that said, I swear an oath The best approach is taking both The videos on this channel are sponsored by Do Not Age, a company that supports and conducts anti-aging research and also sells supplements. 
you can get a 10% discount on all of the products on their website by using the discount code PATHWAYS. Do Not Age does not sell carnosine. They do have some other supplements that, in my opinion, are worth taking a look at. I'm currently taking their NMN powder, berberine, CERT6 activator, creatine, calcium AKG, NAC with glycine, and hyaluronic acid, and a couple of their other supplements. I like the quality of their supplements and I do recommend them. Both their NMN and CERT6 activator recently dropped in price, so you might want to check out the current price of those. If you are an NMN user, I would take a look at their 100 gram bag of NMN powder. They buy it in large quantities and they actually sell it at close to their own purchase price. And one other thing to think about with NMN, I recently ordered some even though I have not yet run out because of the signs that the FDA might be tightening the screws a little bit and actually at some point implementing an actual ban on NMN. And again, the ban on NMN would not be because NMN has been shown to be ineffective or harmful in any way. It's because pharmaceutical company is trying to turn NMN purely into a pharmaceutical drug and compounds can't be both supplements and pharmaceuticals. So there's a possibility it'll be disappearing from the market. So I am not hoarding or anything. I haven't bought like 10 bottles or whatever, but I have decided to go ahead and stock up. Thank you for watching. And in closing, here's a little song that I created about Do Not Age. This video is sponsored by Do Not Age. Their anti-aging supplements are all the rage. They sell NMN and creatine and search 6 activator. You can take them in the morning or take them later. Use the code word pathways to save some money. And take them when it's raining or when it's sunny.